Hello. Um, so today I want to talk about ways to have a positive impact on others. Um, and I think this is very important when it comes to actually progressing in life. So we can always think about this as the role model way. Uh, we all have a role model that we can look up to and think, oh, I really like the way they did this, whether it be parenting, business or life. Um, I used to role model Sarah Michelle Gellar in Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Um, so that was she was like my role model in the sense of how much she had achieved um, personally in the acting career since she was small and how she'd gone through everything she'd gone through and how she bounced back from that. Um, so that's an example of who I uh, role modeled when I was younger. But, you know, you all have a different role model for a different thing. Um, I have a role model for golf, I have a role model for business, I have a role model for my life as well, so like a life coach that I follow, um, and you know, having that person to look up to, we can learn so much from them, but sometimes we are that person, without even knowing it, we are somebody's role model, um, I had a young girl come up to me um, and express this to me, which actually made me cry, She'd used the tools and techniques that I'd showed her to help somebody else through a bad situation. And she came to tell me how it worked for somebody else and how the person was so grateful. And in turn, she brought that gratitude back to me. And that's when I really realized how much impact I'm having on people. So when you were thinking about ways to have a positive impact on others, Think about what you're doing, what you're role modeling, especially around having children. You know, we tell them what to do a bit. We show them what to do a bit. But are we actually role modeling the things that we say to them? I do. I not all the time because I am a human, but I do things like um, I take my time out. So if they are agitated, my kids are six two and one at this very moment in time and they can get a lot of mental exhaustion they can get overexcited they can get tired hungry anxious lonely um, and it puts them into that anxiety spiral so in order for me to role model that and when I tell them to go take five I need to say not right now mommy's going to go take five um, I need to have my time out. I call this in, in terms of coaching, I call it more me time. So for instance, if one of them is um, having a massive tantrum because they're tired, hungry, anxious, or lonely, my response now is I put the kettle on, I walk around the garden and I come back. So I can clear my head and with a clear head, I can deal better with that behavior or tantrum or the problem that's there. And in turn, my six-year-old now, when he's having his, because uh, he has extra needs of autism and ADHD, when he's having those moments where he is actually struggling and he cannot access the logical part of his brain, he's watching what I do. And I'm so proud to say that the other day, he took himself up the stairs, got to the top of the stairs, put his music on took five minutes and came back down a different child. And it was just incredible. And when I said, what made you do that, sweetheart? He goes, I've been watching you go and take a walk around the garden. So I thought I'd go and listen to my music. And it's just having that positive impact on him that is so much, uh, it means so much to me. So what ways could you have a positive impact on others? Well, think about stuff like, it, you know, assisting other people to succeed without expecting a reward. I did not expect my son to come back down and go, I went upstairs and calmed myself down because of you. Um, that was amazing. And it's like, you've got to help other people to exceed. My goal for coaching is to help you succeed in all aspects of your life. So I want to help you reach high performance in all aspects of your life, whether it be health, wealth, relationships, um, whatever it is, we'll focus on what your problems are. And I want to do that with no reward. Um, yes, you know, you may pay me for more for an accountability tax, if you like, but I don't want anything out of that. I just want to see you smile. I want to see you have those breakthrough moments. I don't do it to get rewarded. I don't do it for you to go, oh, I went to Lauren, she helped me. Um, 
I just do it because I want to help you. And I truly believe that helping people makes me feel great. So that's why I do it. So if you're assisting others to exceed without expecting a reward in return, you're going to have that impact on them. And again, you know, there's a sense of um, confidence that comes with this. So if you are promoting somebody else and telling them how good they are at something and, you know, constantly egging them on, sharing their success um, and showing that you believe in them, they tend to get a big confidence boost. So you're, you know, supporting them in a way that is unbelievably um, strong and helping their confidence grow because confidence actually is a byproduct of being bold and taking bold action more often. So help others to take that bold action. Um, when you're saying to your child, you know, you can jump in the pool you know, for the first time they want to jump in the pool. They're terrified, but you keep egging them on and you've had all the swimming lessons and you, you believe in them. They will believe in themselves um, and tolerate other people's flaws, you know, tap into their strengths. So I work with a lot of people. I've worked with a lot of people. I've worked with a lot of children. So I, before I was a scientist and everything I do coaching wise is proven by science. And I taught a lot of STEM activities. So I'd go out to schools and yes, I'd see that somebody wasn't very good at this, but I didn't get angry at them. I didn't tell them they weren't very good at them. I pointed out their blind spots and I showed them their strengths. So with coaching for me in particular, I will pick out your strengths and I will highlight them to you. Um, and I can also pick out your weaknesses, but I can show you where your strengths will help those weaknesses. So when it comes for you to make positive ways um, to have impact on others, think about what their strengths are. Don't focus on their flaws. Um, and recognize what others are interested in because when I ask the first questions, the initial questions that I ask in our first meetings, um, along the lines of what does high performance mean to you? There's a reason I ask this question. So when you answer, it helps me figure out what you're interested in quickly without asking, hey, what are you interested in? Do you like dancing, sports, Buffy the Vampire Slayer? What do you like? Um, so I can actually recognize what you're interested in just from asking a few questions. Um, and if you do this, you'll have a positive impact on others by saying, I've just noticed that they've, you know, for instance, uh, one of my clients has a cat that always sits in the back of the Zoom calls, but she has a cat. So I know she's interested in cats. So occasionally we'll talk about cats. Um, if you recognize that, you know, one of your friends or clients or a, a child um, keeps touching something in particular, they're clearly interested in the thing they're touching. So try and recognize that and tease it out because when you recognize what people are interested in, you can almost bring that to the forefront of the conversation and ease that um, initial talk. So that becomes a positive impact. You've noticed, you've made a difference to them. And then finally, active listening and being empathetical, you know, being sincere and genuine. This is something you will 100% get from me. I've worked with so many people that, you know, do are not genuine at all, that it's all staged, it's all written already. Um, I'm probably waffling because this is not a staged uh, blog post. It is literally me talking about um, things I think will help you have um positive impact on others so when you're listening don't just listen and go yeah 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 actually active listen if you don't know what this means google this term so actively listen to what they're saying and reply with empathetic responses because you know nobody wants sympathy they all want empathy they might think they want sympathy, but if when we're empathetic, empathetic with people, we push them a bit forward, it becomes from a negative to a positive. You know, um, there's a guy that I see every day and he's dying. Yet we don't talk about, oh, my God, you're going to die in the next few months. 
we talk about all the things that he's done recently, what he's still looking forward to. Um, and I empathize with him on what he's facing, not sympathize with him. So he remains positive um, and tends not to slide back into the negative of, oh my God, I'm dying. And yes, it's awful, but he's still living. Right now, he's still living. He's still got as long as he goes till he goes. And it's about making positive impact on him and what he does in that time. And, you know, when, when I talk about being sincere and genuine and what you see is what you get with me, I wear my heart on my sleeve. I literally do. So I would tell you that, you know, I've been sat in the cupboard crying when all three kids have cried at the same time. I'm a parent training lead, so I actually train parents as well. And I'm a breastfeeding support worker. And I've had those problems where I've struggled with breastfeeding or I've wanted a break from her or I've, um, you know, been a bad mum so to speak. So as long as you can recognize what you've done and correct it um, and put a line under yesterday and start into a new tomorrow, when you are ready to step forward, that's when the positivity comes. So ways to have a positive impact on others, assist them with success, but don't expect a reward from it. And instill that confidence into them help them see that they are doing a good job that they can do this that they are able to do it and then obviously tolerate their flaws but highlight their strengths show them where they are really strong at what they can do and and how that brings something to the table and then again show an interest in what they're interested in recognize what they're interested in if you do that without having to ask somebody and the next time you see them you've uh, mentioned something they're interested in like if you said to me oh uh, such and such about golf i'd have been like oh okay and then it just brings that barriers down and changes whatever was in their mind on the negative to positives of like oh yeah i like golf let's talk about that instead and then actively listen be empathetical be sincere and be genuine. Hope you have an amazing day. If you've got any questions, please drop them in the comments below. But also um, check out the free mini mindset course. We've still got some spaces left on that before it goes to the uh, paid for version. So from September 2022, that will be a paid for version. This is probably one of my earlier videos. So like and share it if you can. If this resonates with you, um, then jump on a call or um, and drop whatever comments you've got in below. I'll try and get back to you within 48 hours. Have an amazing day, guys. Be more positive. Have positive impacts on others.